Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And to my right and to your left, of course, is the very beautiful Valerie Eliason. Everybody say, happy birthday, Val. Thank you. Thank How's you. everything going? Everything's great. It's been such a great birthday so far. Great. I've gotten so much love from all my oh, friends and family. That's it's, so important. It's very heartwarming. Yes, and I want to remind everybody that we are coming to you live from our beautiful studios here in BNN TV. And you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. We're at 617 708 3290. And if there's a block on your phone, star 82 kind of gets you right through all that minutiae to get you right over to the gang in the other room. Dan, the David, the gang are in there answering phones. So listen, join us if you'd like. Let us know what's going on. So what's new and exciting besides turning 37 today? 28. <laughs> Don't push, I know. Oh, I know. yeah. Um, I've actually done a lot of fun things this weekend. Great. Um, I checked out the SOA market on Sunday. With Isn't my that mom. an amazing thing? Oh, I love that place. It's, got, it's getting bigger and bigger each time I yeah, go. Yeah. Food trucks, one of my favorite things. I love the, gal the little gallery area where, where the, the tents are there, too. But yes. there's those individual galleries kind of sunk yep. in and stuff. It's I beautiful. I love, though, some great stuff. Some, uh, one of my favorite things, like all vintage fashion over at Bobby's at Boston. Yeah, one yeah. of my favorite places to check out. Uh, there's this amazing ice cream truck there, uh, Batch. Ginger ice cream and green tea ice cream. Ooh. It was unbelievable. It's really good. We had, we had burnt we have, when Janice, Janice is showing, oh, I wanted to remind everybody that the first Thursdays over in Jamaica Plain, Janice is showing at JP Seafoods, our, Jan, our Janice, Janice oh, Williams, nice. super producer. And she kind of got called in at the last minute, so we kind of had to rush a, a show together for her over yeah. there. But they do a great job over there. And she had ginger burnt... Burnt caramel? Burnt, no, burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. And, and it was delicious. We had dinner there yeah. that night. It was nice. Phil's a great guy over there, so it's, it's a nice little event going on. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, please do. She'll be there for the month. Yeah. So uh, there's all kinds of that kind of thing happening on. And there's lots of great art happening on Center Street over there in JP, so it's a fun place to hang out. Uh, I hadn't done it in a long time, so it was cool to be over there with Janice. Uh, yeah. The JPC food. I did a really exciting thing today. You I didn't. went to uh, the Butterfly Conservatory oh, in Deerfield. Tell me about it. What it was that was, like? It, it was like magical. I felt like I was in a Disney movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little butterflies floating around everywhere. One of them even tried to land on my face. Nice. It was just, it was gorgeous to, to learn about um, all these different species from uh, South America and Africa. Butterflies that brought in all these different plants and vegetation. It was. Is it a controlled atmosphere for yes. some of those? It's so very those... warm in there. Mm -hmm. So shorts and a tank top or t shirt. Yeah, yeah. But um, very warm in there, but controlled. Um, they, they've spent years and years of making sure it's the exact uh, environment for them, um, perfect environment for them to thrive in. And they are everywhere, they're friendly, they always tell you to wear bright colors because you look like a big flower and they'll try to land on oh, you. Oh, very so. nice. And obviously they did. They did. They, yep. did. they recognized you right away. <laughs> uh, how big of a place is it? I mean, is it a... It's pretty sizable compared to some of the other um, butterfly conservatories that I've seen. Um, Gosh, it's it's a pretty huge room, mm -hmm. to, to be honest with you. A lot of little paths you can walk around mm -hmm. in. Um, little pagodas that they put that you can sit nice, down. Nice, nice. It's very family friendly. Yeah, we brought my grand my grandkids over to the one over in Franklin Park. And the one thing I remembered, and I kind of, I didn't, I, I realized it after they were doing it, was that they really searched you down to make sure that you weren't carrying anybody yes. away with you. They not, 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 on, not on purpose, just that maybe someone might have landed someplace yep. and stuff, so. It happens. Um, did you learn anything over there? Um, I did learn about this one plant they call a lollipop plant. And you can actually pull, it's like these two flowers that are intertwined, and you pull one of the flowers out, and you suck on it like a straw, and yeah. it tastes like honey. Oh. It was really interesting. I have no idea where it's from. I was just so excited that it was an edible <laughs> plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something edible. Yes. yes. Um, well, that's very exciting. That's great. Uh, we'll have to uh, see if we can feature them at some point. Yeah. Maybe talk a little bit about your trip. It sounds like a sure. lot of fun. It's definitely fun. Uh, one of the things that I did this past weekend was um, uh, I went to work. <laughs> I went to work on Thursday and at the Boys and Girls Club, and someone tapped me on the shoulder and handed me 15 tickets to the One Direction concert Friday night. I said, do you know anybody that would like to go to that? And I said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I took about, um, I took a dozen 
9, 10, 11, 12 year olds to the One Direction concert. Oh my gosh, I'm sure you made their entire year. They, they, were, they were still hoarse when I saw them today and we were still talking about it. You know, I thought I was going to have that, my, well I did, I had my Beatles Shea Stadium experience because yeah. I couldn't hear <laughs> anything. You know, and they have, of course, these state-of-the-art things and, and what have you. So I couldn't tell you what the performance was like because the kids were just out Screaming. of control. As we're driving there, if we went past the limousine, they would go crazy in the backseat. Now, I had, I had one mother with me and a junior staff, so it's just the three of us, you yeah. know. And, we're so, and me, I'm, I wanted to harness them all together, you know, because oh I'm my like that. Gosh. But, but I'll tell you, Gillette Stadium has it together. They know what they're doing. They, they, they had a... I obviously went in because of the age of the kids, but if they were a little yeah. bit older, they had a place where I could hang outside and wait That's for the awesome. concert, send the kids in. They had security all over the place, friendly security. People who did any questions or yeah. any, you know, the kids were taken well care of. And, um, but one of the things I did, because I know Gillette coming out of there, is I told the parents, I will have your kids back at Orchard Gardens by 1030. Oh. Ha. So we had to leave before the concert was over. Did you get some sobbing? Uh, no sob. Actually, the sobbing came as the lights went out and the fireworks went off and these, these five kids walked out onto the stage. My kids, a couple of kids started crying. They were like, it was their very first concert they'd ever oh been to. Gosh. I'm so happy I was part of that for them. And uh, uh, it, was, it was really an experience. It was great. Eventually, the ringing in your ears will stop. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, yes. Eventually. But uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was cool. I'm glad we were able to do that for them. And, and that's one of the things the Boys and Girls Club does. does. They get these kind of things together and, and pop it on the kids as a, as a surprise. And, and uh, it, was, it was really a surprise. It was oh, a lot of fun. Awesome. Totally yeah. made their day. Yeah. One of the other things that, that we're doing is we're, uh, we're actually gearing up for some, some more music. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, they've been booking me for some stuff in the fall. That's very so exciting. So I'll have some gigs to come up to talk about. You know, we're going to be playing in, in Dedham. We're going to be, got a couple of gigs in Boston. i got a pretty major gig in town that I'm going to be playing at. So as soon as all the things are finished up, yeah. I'll let you know. I'd love to let check you, some let of you them guys out. know. Come out and check us out. Definitely. Yeah, it's new music, so I'm kind of excited about it. I love going out and, and hearing music around the city. One of my favorite things to do is go to Wally's mm. uh, Cafe and hear some jazz from the Berkeley students. It's yes. Just, but I, I love live music. There was a place that, that probably only our more experienced citizens will remember. It's called Michael's. Okay. Michael's was right across, was, uh, you'd have Huntington Avenue, which cut past Berkeley, and Rayburn's was a music store across from Berkeley, and behind Rayburn's, a block back, was a place called Michael's. Okay. And at lunchtime, you'd walk in there, and there could be, there would be maybe Chicory and Miles Davis and maybe four or five, at lunchtime, uh, uh, faculty members from over at Berkeley just sitting there playing. That's awesome. To half a room. Then you'd come back at night and you wouldn't be able to get in. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but because you were a student over there, you know, you kind of walk over there to have lunch and you'd walk in and, isn't that Chikoria over there playing the keyboards? Yeah, you know, so oh, it, that's it was nice because they'd always have the lunch, a brunch lunch thing that yeah. they'd play for an hour. And it was always really, really cool. But it's gone. It's gone the route of Paul's Mall. and in all of those great places where you could go and hear some jazz, but Wally's, they've Still hung in there, strong. they're staying strong, and it is a great place to go and listen to music. What, do you have a particular style of music you like? Is it jazz for you? I really like a mix of everything. Um, I've been really getting into folk music lately. Um, oh, nice. I've really been enjoying old, old, um, not old, old, but like like older Pete Seeger type stuff is yeah, he's real the real folky folky guy. I, I mean, wish I could um, honestly give you some. I wish I could give you some names. Okay. A lot of the stuff comes um, off of Pandora. It pops oh yeah, up. you're a big Pandora. Oh, I love. Oh, Pandora. so you pick a category and sit, and sit and listen. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. Um, I've, I've been putting in Johnny Cash a lot lately, oh, nice. actually, and I really? like listening to some of his older stuff. is really fun. Are well, you gonna love our new album we got oh, coming up? It's all country music. Oh, good. I don't see. I, don't like any of the new country music, but all the old country music is it's not, just It's oh, not country it's music. The new stuff is pop. It's pop. Yeah. It's pop with a cowboy hat. It is, yeah. And it, and that's okay, you know, that's all right. But this 
this, uh, this stuff that we're doing from the 30s and 40s, the Carter Sisters, we got some, I'm doing a Hank Williams tune, oh, you know, nice. hey, good looking, I'm saying, yep. you know, so, so it's, uh, it's fun and oh. enjoyable to do. That's exciting, too. Yeah. We have an exciting show today. We do. We have a great show. A couple of great painters that we've had on in the past are going to come up and join us and talk a little bit about what they've been doing lately and stuff, you know. But also, i, I got to get in our, our, our thing about our Great Main Streets program. Um, one of the things, uh, I got a call the other day from them, Adams Park down in Rosendale Square is being renovated over, and they want me to come down and help the architects with, with putting in... Uh, electrical stuff for just specifically for the music oh, nice. so we're going to kind of run underground the snake from the stage back to the uh, the mixing station and stuff so I'm going to get involved in doing that but these are some of the things that Main Streets gets involved in I mean Main Streets is a great organization they help keep us on the air here they've been our friends for years here at BNN and what they do is is it's a volunteer driven organization that helps revitalize business districts around the city and what they do is they work with the property owners to get the, the right kind of demographic in there so they'll know who's living in the community, so they'll know the right kind of businesses to put downstairs. When you're walking around and, and you kind of do a lot of traveling, you bike and you, and yeah. you do a lot of walking, do you see a lot of greats? Um, what do you mean? Oh, with the, the ones that get pulled down? I hate those. It makes yeah. it look so cold. It's cold and, and impersonal. Yeah. And, and like you're afraid. It makes you afraid in the neighborhood. Uh, that's one of the things that they work with, too. They have a design committee that helps, once the business is in there, that works with the business to kind of get their architectural look right, make sure that their signage is done right. They help pay for the signage if you get rid of the grates. That's so great. that's one of the things that makes the, your, your business district appealing and friendly, you know? Yeah. You know, and <clears throat> believe me, I understand that you've sunk your whole life savings into this place. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was screaming at a concert the other day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so you want to protect it in every yeah. way you can. But I think one of the things that Main Streets has proven to communities and people around is that the way you protect your your your, your business district and your business is to show some pride in it. Exactly. You know, and, and oh, someone's going to come and do some graffiti. You know, I've found that kids that are tagging, they're going to go tag at the bridge. They're going to go and tag, you know, in the back of some place. Um, they're not going to do something. They, they want it to be beautiful, too. So especially these graffiti artists are not going to come and do anything yeah. to your thing. So. When, you do pro when you have pride in your community like that, and you have places that you love seeing and you love going to, mm -hmm. and they, they just make you feel like your community has something special and unique, it's, yeah. it's I mean, the whole place comes together. It's yeah. not you know necessarily a scary place at night to walk right. around anymore. Exactly. You know? And that's what it's done to a lot of communities around the city. Uh, over in South Boston, they had a great Main Streets program for a long time. Dan knows all about them. And what they do is, 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 is they help you make that community a destination. Uh, it, 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 the location is one thing for it to be, but a destination where people want to come to from another part of the city to come and have dinner or to come and see a concert or to come into a gallery. Yeah. They know they're going to have a show that night. So that's, one of the, that's some of the stuff that Main Street does. And then, of course, they throw events bringing people down. So I'm going to go down and see the movie down there showing down at the park. Oh, I didn't realize that there was this kind of business here, that kind of business. So we're really appreciative of, of all the stuff that they do for us. We want to thank them very, very much. So if you, uh, if you see them out there doing their gig, please thank them. Make sure you tell them that Val and Glenn want to say thank you too. Uh, because um, they're only doing it because they love their communities. No one's paying these cats to go out there and do that. They're doing it because they want their kids yeah. and their families to grow up in a, in a friendly place. So that's what they do. The other thing is this amazing building. Now, you've only been here three or four or five times now. This is my fourth show. Fourth show? Yep. You veteran you. I, yeah, years. <laughs> years. <laughs> BNN is the place where if you want to learn how to do television, if you want to work on being, uh, if, you, if you, you're watching us and you say, I can do that, yes, you most certainly can. If you have a nonprofit or if you have a, of something that's going on in your community that you want to talk about and it's affiliated with a nonprofit. This is the station, Channel 9, you're watching right now. It's news and information where you'd come and do your own show. You'd come and do, a, you'd talk about your mission statement. You'd bring in a guest to do, uh, to uh, enhance what you're talking about just so you'll have a conversational thing doing it. And they put it on TV live. People can call in and have a discussion about what your mission is. It's a great place. 
The other side, which I think you should get involved in, is the production side, where you take some classes in Final Cut Pro, uh, where you learn how to do lighting, where you learn how to use some of these amazing cameras and how to do sound and, and how, to, how to edit and all of that cool stuff. And you sign out some of the great equipment, some of the great cameras that, that we have here, and you go and film your own thing. That stuff's awesome. And then you come back and edit it, and they put it on TV. It's nice to see sort of the wizard behind the curtain, you know? No, the, no question. The magic uh, behind the cameras. It's, it's really interesting to see how everything comes together. There's right. so much effort and so much work and so much dedication that goes yeah. in behind the scenes that... Oh, even in, even in a live show. I mean, for uh, people who have come to the show and kind of stood in the background or maybe in the control room and said, how can you do the show with all that yelling and screaming going on in there? <laughs> and it's not yelling and screaming. It's someone directing the show. They're constantly talking to each other. They're constantly saying, get this shot, move this camera, zoom this in, turn this up, turn that down, da 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 yep. and, and they're in there doing it constantly. And to get to do that kind of thing for yourself, is so fulfilling and great. So if anyone's in, out there interested in getting involved in some of this stuff, the way you do it is you go to www.bnntv.org and you click on Janice Williams' name or Jim Atwood's name, who is a great guy who has been here since TV was invented, is, a, is the guy who knows everything about BNN, and sorry Jim, who knows everything <laughs> about access. And, and those cats can kind of steer you in the right direction of what kind of membership you want to have or what kind of program you want to put on, uh, please do so. Come on down. www.bnntv.org is how you do it. And also, if you go to that website right now and click on what's showing now, Valerie and I will pop up on your screen. So uh, if you know anybody outside of the city or that you're saying, hey, they should be watching some of these programs that they have, give them that website, www.bnntv.org, and they can click on there and get what gets what's happening live right now. We have friends all over that are watching our show. We really want to thank them. Uh, I want to put out a big hi to, to Peter and Susan. Peter and Susan are in Orlando, Florida. And they've been watching our program a couple of times, and they, they tuned in. They were friends with a guest we had a couple of months ago, and they watched it streaming. And they've, they've tuned in a couple of times since then, and they go to our YouTube station. Oh, that's great. Do you know the address? Yes, it's all about the arts one. It's all about arts the number one. Yes. Very good, Val. See? Great. I'm getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it. <laughs> but if you go to your... your um, YouTube station and type that in. It's all about Arts One. This show, tonight's show, will be there tomorrow about this time. Yep. So you can kind of check the show out or let anybody else know. And also, we're answering Twitters all the time. Is that right, Twitters? Tweets. Tweets? Yep. I should write that you down. You tweet on Twitter. <laughs> you tweet on Twitter. I got an, I got an email from, a, from someone who said, Glenn, <laughs> write it down. And I, But if you go to... It's all about the arts. One at it's all about arts. At it's all about arts. on Twitter, and uh, you can send us a little message and let us know right away. You know, say what you know. If you want to, if you have a question or you have, you don't want to get on the air and talk on the phone. The easiest way to do that is to send us a tweet. And it's great to see them pop up on the screen. Yeah, that's it's real exciting. Yes, yeah. it's kind of neat to have that happen. So, Definitely. anything else that's going on? <sighs> um, How's Angus? Klaus. Angus. You don't have a cow, I have a rabbit. Yeah, I know you do. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's Klaus? He's great. He's good. He Is was, he thumping about? He was extra snuggly this morning. I think he knew it was my birthday. Ah, well, that's good. So, that's always nice. Yeah. He's good. He's looking forward to the move. He's going to have a lot more space to... Uh, Is he going to be able to go outside? You know, I'm thinking about it. We have coyotes. Oh, so not without me. No. Maybe on a little leash or a harness, I could take him around the arboretum. I need pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I need pictures of you walking your rabbit yep. around the arboretum. That would be awesome. Let's see how it works. I'm sure I'll be the <laughs> weirdest uh, person in there that day. But. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> hey, listen, gang, you're watching BNN TV's It's All About Us. We've got a great show tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking with two of the premier artists from the New England area. It's going to be a lot of fun to sit and talk with them. They're old friends they have been in before, and I'm glad that they're back. You are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. Val and I will be back in just a couple of minutes. Please do not go away. Thanks. <laughs> i
comes a time when everybody needs to be with someone. Well, now's the time when I have realized you're that someone. Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. I want to remind you that you are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts, and we're coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV. And you're more than welcome to join us. Give us a call, please. We're at 617-708-3290. And again, if you want to see this show again, or if you have somebody that you know would love to see this show, you can tell them that it'll be on YouTube tomorrow uh, about this time. At it's not at. That's the other thing. It's All About Arts 1, the number one, will get you right to all of the shows that we've been doing. We've got lots of them up there for you to, to peruse through and laugh at me and all kinds of things. So if you'd like to. Right now, it's my great, great pleasure and honor to, uh, to reintroduce you and say hello uh, to Diane Nic Nicosia. How are you? Fine. Thank Very you. Good to nice see you. Nice to see you again. Welcome, welcome back to the show. It's great to be back. How's everything going? Great. Uh, you, I, I like to ask this question. I don't know if I asked it of you last time. If you, if you were doing a website and you had a, a pull-down menu of what you had to call yourself, the kind of besides great, uh, <laughs> the kind of artist that you were—I uh, you know, mean, impressionist or landscaper or whatever—what uh, kind? Of, what would you have to pick for yourself? I'd say I trained as a Boston, the Boston School of Realism. I'm, I've done a lot of oil landscapes mm -hmm. of Italy mm -hmm. and other countries, but most recently um, I'm, I'm painting encaustics. Yes, this is very <laughs> exciting stuff. Um, I've learned f of that kind of painting from here because uh, I've not really, uh, I, haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, okay. I think that I deserve myself, I should tr treat myself to try it. Explain the process of what that is. It's messy. Mm -hmm. um, it's 30% wax mixed into, suspended in the oil paint. Yeah. So what I do is on, on stretched linen, um, I sketch in and charcoal very lightly mm -hmm. the, the painting. So for instance, it may be um, a botanical garden with birds. So everything's there. And then I start painting that in. That's sketched in vaguely, but then I paint it in realistically. And then I start scraping away. And I do layer and layer and layer of colored, the, the different colors. And then I repaint, 
I go back in. So when it's finished, you know, it has this beautiful built up yeah. texture and the think of a um, candle wax almost that yeah, type yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then um, I like to think they look like fragments, almost um, like, but they're completely frame, uh, self framed, and they. So yeah, they self. So you you wrap. They're wrapped. Okay. And then I do finish it in an oil paint the sides, but they can be framed, and. Um, right, let me back you up a little bit. Is the wax colored? No, it's absolutely. Um, it's clear wax. Yes. Is it so, is it candle wax or is it a no, special kind of wax? Um, it's a special wax. Okay. And it's uh, it's a cold wax. You can also have heated. Okay. Um, but I I also have a beautiful little cat, and I've always had pets in my studio. And if they ever ran into the cord for an electric fry pan oh, or some of that, it would be can't, dangerous. Can't have that. They're, so, yeah. So you're friendly with the, your animal in, so you've, decided, you, you've yeah. found a way to do it. Yes, and you uh, use palette knives. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you, are you removing with the palette knife? Or sometimes. Are you blending? With I'm the... blending. Well, it's, yes, it is blended on a palette. And then you start layering in and scraping, layering, texturing. You can use different tools. Um, I've used um, almost, uh, you know, the, I've used saran wrap and ripped it off. Ah. Um, Anything that is tactile, you could just put it on and then lift it off to make the texture. Yeah. You don't want too much texture, at least I don't. And then... Um, Are they heavy? No, no. And they're, if, you, if you put the right amount of wax with the oil paint, they're not fragile. You just can't, you can't leave an oil painting out in no. the heat. No, or you shouldn't leave cold. anything out there. So, right. So... Um, they're um, generally 20 by 20, 24 by 36, and they That's don't... That's a nice size. Yeah. Um, and How long I, does it take you to finish a piece? Uh, it's very time intensive. Is it, so. does, does the things have to... Well, with oil, oil anyways, it, yeah. it has to set yeah. and kind of relax yeah. before you can do anything else yeah. with it. But the wax does too? Yes, and it sets. And then you can you go back in, and it depends on... Um, you can also set the wax or the, the mixture um, a little more, so it can it can create a different texture as you mm -hmm. apply it. It's very physical. It's very physically demanding. You can you need you can work on it flat and also on an easel as a traditional yep. painter. And um, so everything sets up okay when it's up on an easel. Yes. Or is it already thick. set by that point? Now you're starting to. No, it's really it's. I do it for perspective. Mm, okay. And. Um, I, so I use both. I have a very huge stu two studio easel, so, um, and you just go back and forth. Right. And, Do you have a dedicated space you can work on this stuff? Yes. That's very important, isn't yes. it? Yes, and ventilation is really important, oh. even, you know, with oil paint, yeah, too, yeah. because of the heavy metals. Well, does the wax give off some kind of no. thing? But, it, but I don't know what it's doing in, the, <laughs> in, the, in my little environment. <laughs> I don't know what I'm breathing in. <laughs> you'll, you'll know in five years, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> um, uh, do you work on more than one piece at a time? Yes. You do? Because, yeah, because always... of the length of times the set? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, and um, I've done that in oil painting, too. Now, are you setting your atmosphere in any particular way? Yes. Um, it's inspired by antique Roman frescoes. Yeah, talk about that. And That's they, great. They've first ex excavated it in 1863 in, uh -huh. in Porto Romano. And right. um, so it was a suburb of Rome, but it was a, a subterranean room that, it, uh, that was a dining room. And it was four, they found four huge frescoes. And it was the home of Livia Drusilla, who was married, who was the Empress Drusilla, married to Emperor Augustus of the Imperial Age. And um, the botanical garden, or the theme of this imaginary paradise garden, really, yeah. um, symbolizes peace, prosperity, um, which helped promote his career. So she right. was the first empress of Rome and the first mother of Rome of an emperor, which was she, she's the mother of Tiberius, who okay. ended up his days in Capri. Yeah. So she started. Yeah, and she was 80, she lived to be 87. Wow, that's old back then. Yeah. That's yeah. a couple of generations. Yeah. Uh, what brought you to that? Because you're, you're, you're such a, you, you, you do different. so many things yeah. artistically, you know. I mean, you've landscaped, you oils, you've done, you've done everything. Yeah. What, what brought this on? Did you visit? Yes, I was in Rome. Yeah. And it's in um, 
a museum dedicated. To, they have so many rooms dedicated to yeah. it, and it's right in Rome. It's easy to get to, and uh, they the um, it, it was beautiful. And someone told me about it, and I've always been involved in the environment. Mm -hmm. I love to paint trees mm -hmm. and gardens. Yeah. So it was a natural transition, and the Italian Cultural Institute wrote a brochure about the series, and they're part of the Italian Embassy. So they um, drew you in. It drew me in, and they did a wonderful um, introduction. I'll, I'm having it printed now. Great. You brought some pieces. I did. For us to take a peek at. Yes. We'll put them up on the monitor, and, and you'll yeah. talk us through these. Okay. Talk to me a little so, bit about what we're seeing. Um, this is one of a hummingbird, and it's um, a close-up of um, it's different shades of gray with the wax, and then taupe and white. And it is highly textured. It's hard to see it on the monitor. Yeah, the and monitor's not doing these any justice. No, and it has, um, it's mixed with um, white gold also. Mm. So it has the, the sheen of um, the wax and the silver. And okay. that's 20 by 20. Yeah, OK. And, um, and then that's a, um, they also had um, ornamental garden images there, too, and water along with the plants. Now, I can see it here. I, I, I can see more the texture? more texture here. Yes. And I, I trained for years in Japanese woodblock prints, so you can see the yeah. tension yeah. coming in from that. Yeah. That's 36 by 24. Now, this one, did, you did the background first. Now, is that oiled on top of the? No, it's always the wax. All I wax is last? No, it's constant. There's about 15 layers oh. of the wax and oil. That's why it's so time intensive. Yeah, yeah. And it's physically demanding mm, because you're be. standing and or stooping. Yes. So, and you have to have strong, I mean, strong arm movement. And you're using a knife. Yeah, to well, bring and, knives. and it's also going to be a constant movement. You're not yeah. just kind of you're patting right. it out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's the large set. Um, there's six, six panels, oh, there's 20 six, by 20 okay. at each. So, and um, I thought it would be kind of fun. That must be breathtaking live, huh? It, it is beautiful. Yeah, I'm it's, sure. And it's it very be. serene. And I was thinking it would be fun to do a whole series where you could get it, um, you know, a different variety, a different ones. Yep. But as many as six or eight meant to be together and have a party and have yeah. dealers and co or collectors well, together sure. saying, we're going to arrange it this way, like a synopsis. Yes. Um, and then this is the. Um, Another hummingbird scene with yellow gold paint, wow. too. So you can see some of the white coming through. But there, it's so many different colors yeah. and uh, also um, slow gradations. That's 20. And then uh, this is called Pax Peace with the white dove. Mm -hmm. And that's um, also, um, so that's 24 by 36. And that's, that's an example of how I, all the birds were painted in realistic in a realistic manner, and then I scraped it away. Right. And then went back in. Right. And then this is called Pompeii Red, because I've also spent time in Pompeii. And that's one of the vessels that I saw there. And I just borrowed the imagery to put in the series. That's beautiful. That's Thank great. You. Where can people see your work live? OK, live. I'm going to have a show in great. May Excellent. at the St. Patolf Club. And oh. You'll be invited to the opening Excellent. on Commonwealth. In May? Yes. Well, pro yeah. Oh, I know. Well, these these take a while. Okay, that's fine. And then um, in Palm Beach. You will be down in Palm Beach. Awesome. That's good. Yes. Um, I want to. I, I can't. Would you have a website where people I do. can go and it's, find it's, you? It's my name. You know, so www.diananicosia.com. That's great. Well, I want to thank you so much, Diana, for coming in. Thanks for having me. Um, no, I. Uh, you know what? I think next time I want you to lug one in. Yeah. You know, because okay. I, I really because I've seen it. I've seen it live, and there's, there's uh, a thank you for the for the prints, but we did just people just wouldn't these yeah, cats here would hard, go wow. It's, is that it's how? hard to see it. Yeah, it is on the monitor. Well, it's new for me too. Thank you so okay, much. Well, it's a pleasure seeing you. Thank you. Again. Listen, you are watching BNN. That was fascinating. You're watching BNN TV's. It's all about arts. We're coming to you live from Studio B. Listen, we're only halfway through, gang. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes with our next friend. We'll be right back. Don't go away, please. <laughs>
Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful, thanks an awful lot for hanging in there, is what I was going to say. Uh, but uh, that was fascinating. I'm always interested in that kind of art. You really do have to see it live. I'm going to talk her into bringing a piece in next time. It's going to be really good. But now, right now, it's my great pleasure and, and honor to, inv in, to have back old friend uh, uh, Dan McCall. How are you, Daniel? Doing grand. It's good Doing to see grand, you, man. Yeah. What's going on? Everything is everything is flying. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. just saw you over at Marina Bay. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Our Janice was putting up a piece in there, and I walked in, and I said, Look, "There he is." Don't yep, let yeah. anybody hang in I here. <laughs> That's one show I go in. I go to two shows every year. One at Marina Bay, and then there's one coming up. The called Arts Fest in Quincy. Yes. It's a great show. Now, where they, do they hold that? They hold that in the, rec uh, I guess it's not the recreational area in Quincy, down in near Marymount. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you get down there. And it's Quincy's like Boston. It's cut into a bunch of little segments. On Marymount's field, one of they, them, right? They have maybe five cents. Oh, really? And, uh, oh, it's outside. Outs uh, well, outside, but uh, it's done very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So oh, I'm sure. that's about the two that I get involved in. Right. I, it's just... You've been painting and doing Boston scenes and and contributing to not only art but the culture of art here in, in the city for a long time. And I want to take this opportunity to to thank you for for your dedication and, and what you've done uh, around the city. It's been great. Southie is really really proud of you. I heard. Thank you. Thank you for that. That uh, it's uh, it's 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 a pleasure to do it. I tell you the truth. Uh, mm. Listen, I, I've gone through my whole life. I quit painting for about 40 years. Yeah. And uh, then I picked it up again, and uh, here I am. And you didn't drop a, didn't drop a brush. You want to know something? <laughs> there was actually, I was so surprised that it, 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 it picked up right, right yeah. where I left off. Yeah. The mind is always doing it. That's right. It's in the mind. Like it's in music. You could, yeah. you could drop could probably, music for 15, 20 years and, and come yeah. back and you'd, you'd give you about 10 minutes and you'd be back in shape. Uh, That's what... 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw that old question out to you as, sure. I, as I always do. What kind of painter would you pick for yourself if you had to put a label? It's a horrible question. But if you had to put a label on yourself, what kind of, what kind of a painter would you think you would be? Well, I think I'm um, basic watercolor. Watercolor. Nice. Watercolor painter. Yeah. Although, I did a, uh, the Andrew Square group, which yeah. is a great group, and they called call, call me up one day, a friend of mine is on it, and said, um, would you do a mural for us? Yeah. So, they're, they're very hard workers. I said, sure. Yeah. And I thought, what am I saying sure for? I'm it's a lot of water. water. Color. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, give me a break. Well, anyhow, um, I <laughs> committed myself, and so I went out and I got house paint uh, outside. Red. <laughs> what were you painting on? Bricks? Oh, you should have seen what yeah, I was everything painting. Everything and anything, huh? Do you remember the old cement bricks that would look like lemon meringue pie on the top of them? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was painting on. <laughs> And uh, we, so we did oh. uh, in Andrew Square. There's, it's still standing. It's been Is it still four, there? four or five years. Oh. And uh, yeah, I used outside. How can you lose? Yeah, outside, right, right, right. Outside paint, and it, it takes the weather. I was cutting through your neighborhood the other day. We were taking some kids out to Castle Island for some Sullivan Snappy Dogs, and uh, uh, I went through Andrew Square. It looks a lot different than it did when I was over there. Oh, oh my God! They've done all kinds of things. Has South there. Boston changed? Entirely. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yuppie now. And what, uh, what, well, what it is is we want to get more cars in there. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> because please. So, so the building a condo to bring more cars <laughs> bring in. More, because we need, that, we that need more people. That brings them in. Yeah. <laughs> my God. Yeah, That's yeah. it's, and it's uh, going up too. Yes. Yeah. 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 We have, we have a boutique hotel going to be in <laughs> Broadway Why, Station. Believe it? A boutique hotel. I, know. Um, I wish my people were around to talk to them and tell them about that. <laughs> They'd be proud. Amorines won't like that. No, though. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, so you got this show coming up in Quincy. This is one of the two that you're doing. What are yeah. the dates for that? So I make sure I get some cash. Oh, my over. gosh. September the, mm, 12th or 13th, right. I believe, yeah. When's open There's studios? Two days. Open Studios is, uh, ours is coming up in, yeah, October. Yeah, freezing. Yeah. First of October. Yeah, you're going to throw some, some stuff in there, I hope. Oh, yeah, I, I keep that, my, right? my uh, gallery open That's for good. that. Where's yeah. your gallery? Well, it's actually, it's in my studio. Yeah. I, my, I, I say gallery. I call mine a gallery, too. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be the dining room. <laughs> so, but I live there in my studio, yeah. so I have no coffee problem. But <laughs> I get up in the morning, and I'm there at you're work. You're at work. Yeah, That's excellent. Go. Yeah, yeah. So it's at uh, the old distillery in yeah. South. It's an old brewery. It's every South Boston boy's dream. That's right, to live in the brewery. I made it. 
<laughs> Congratulations. That's good. One, one of the few. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a great spot because it's, uh, it just fits what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, it's, uh, I got a nice space and uh, I, I can uh, hold a lot of things. I, yeah. it's, it's working well for me. Um, uh, is there anything new you're working on that you can tell us about? Yeah, I'm finishing up. Oh my God, I'm finishing up. Because you always have these great uh, topics for your pieces. You know, I remember there's one. You might even sent us a picture of them. I didn't even have to go through yours, but there's the. You had a lot of Red Sox, and there was it was an old standard that had. Yeah, I, I do. I one, one I did uh, for for the automobiles right in Southie. Uh, I did one called the Southie Gothic. And there's the man and the woman. That's the one. That's the, That's one. the one. They both. I think we might even have that. I don't know. I, I well, we're going to so. go through your pieces yeah. in a minute. But. So, but anyhow, that that is one. But I'm right now. I'm finishing up uh, a painting of the La Familia uh, Basilica in Barcelona. Yeah. I was over there last year. Yeah. And I come back, and a guy asked me to do it. I said, okay. He buys my paintings. So yeah. That's nice. Very nice. Nice friend. to have a guy. Yes. And uh, the detail is. Yeah, I can only imagine. Wow, yeah. it is just a, it's an amazing thing to see. Using 200 years and it's still and it's still going. It's still, still beautiful. Yeah. yeah. yeah Why don't we take a look at some of your work because I know that that's right. what people people can listen to us take a peek. Yep. jamber all the day. El Papa and is. Carlos and the Pope. Yep. That, <clears throat> that little guy stepped on the stage. <clears throat> excuse me, and walked around while the Pope was giving a, 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 a talk in Rome to families and uh the Monsignors got a little upset. I'll bet they got all wound but up. But you know what? The Pope said, leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's a friend and, of mine. And he walked around and he was hugging him and the whole thing. That's the thing so. about this Pope is he can get, he'll let that kind of thing happen. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. in years gone by because, you know, people are always afraid of this and that. Look at that guy. I think he's, I think he's good for the moment that so. we need him. He's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is one of my. I love this one. This is, this is skateboarder. It's, uh, I'm, I try to get loose all the time, looser. Yeah. Um, and then I'm, I'm too, I paint very tight at times, and every once in a while I do an exercise like something like this. Yeah. So just slap the paint around and it's fun, see what it? happens. It is. It's, it's and these are all thing. watercolors. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there's my bird. Mm. That's that's a seagull that would sat, sat in front of me out in Castle Island, <laughs> and he had the one leg up, and he wouldn't turn around and look at me. I, he kept on giving me the eyeball on the side. <laughs> so I took a bunch of pictures of him. And the, the big thing is, I grew up in South of course, and that fence is a Castle Island fence. That's well, a Castle Island and fence. It's, uh, and and, and, and you know, it's recognizable as that. So I think it's a nice uh, piece that I have. I like that. Oh, Who's that guy? My God, look at that man looking at me. That is that was, a photograph or did you sit in front of a mirror? <laughs> no, I, I did it with a photograph yeah. and mirrors. And uh, just... Uh, Try to get get what I could. Th this was a uh, for the convention center. Sue Merritt, who is the curator over yeah, yeah. there, you know Sue. Yeah. And uh, she asked about a dozen uh, local artists to do a self-portrait. Uh, I being one of them. That's Paul Goodnight was one of them. Oh, Paul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great painter. Great guy too. And uh, so it's over there, and uh, they made prints of them, 50 inches high. <laughs> that painting there is eight and a half by 11. The original. It really? Seems. Yeah, and they blew it up, and you, it's just amazing. Yeah. So, up oh, there we are. This is down at Farragut Road, South Boston, and that's the uh, that the sledding. We did. I did that when I was a kid. Yeah, and every kid since. Yeah. That was when Lincoln was a president. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> ah, there, there it is. Are. There you are. You got all of them covered too, don't you? You know, Red Sox. Yeah, you got Celtics. them. All uh, the, uh, the Bruins and the Patriots. You know what's great is they're standing in front of a very typical South Boston. <laughs> and look at the lawn chair taking, taking the spot. <laughs> they cleared it out and it's theirs. They're, they're, they're there to stand and, and fight. fight for it. That fight will never end. Then there's a nice scene of all the uh, back porch piazzas yeah, in the back there. That's so great. It's, uh, that's great. Yep. And that's, uh, that's a place up in Donegal where my parents came from. And uh, it's uh, right nearby, and it, it ends up, I did the painting out there, and brought it back, finished it up. It's my cousin's house. They, they grew up in that. Really? Did, didn't even know that, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's, and that's, ah, this is the tree of yeah. G. At the foot of G Street on Day Boulevard, you can see across is the Kennedy Library and yeah. UMass on the right. And uh, everyone in South Boston had that as their fam 
personal family tree. That's right. And didn't know that anybody else was involved in it. <laughs> it was so funny. It's my and, tree. It's and my then, tree. The, then the thing is, uh, they cut the branch off to prune it because it was unsafe for kids. Yeah. The kids were climbing on that oh, tree sure. for a hundred years. So they cut the, and then, and then it got, uh, then it got hit by lightning and it just exploded. It's gone. So it's gone, yeah. So it's, uh, it's a... Oh. I'm glad you oh, saved it for us. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw my. It's uh, it, it worked out very well. Dan, do you paint every day? Basically, yeah. Yeah. every night. I, every I, night. I'm a night painter. Right? So you'll go home and work tonight a little bit, or oh, yeah. are we pulling oh. too much out of you? Oh no, I'll be working tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say that facetiously because I know, I know that you're very active and you're you're working all the time. And uh, I, 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 I'm going to reiterate that that how my how. How proud I am to tell people that I know you because of all of the things uh, that you've you've contributed to the community. Yeah. Don't interrupt me over there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good. It's good stuff, and good. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. That's well. That's I appreciate you saying that. Uh, uh, the Arts Association, which uh, we've been going now for ten years, eleven mm -hmm. years, yeah. and uh, that's going good. We we, we had a. You guys are going to be showing out here next month. Yes. Before yep. you go, I want to walk I, you through there to I, show you I what do. we need. I, yeah, I need to find out the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, and uh, we, we went to that show, Marina Bay show yeah. in Arts Affair. So we came around with uh, some ribbons for the for the group. Good, good. So good. I, I, recognition I, I, is important. I put, I put a piece in the, in the email and sent it out to everybody. I forgot a name. Oh. So I have well, Judith Sweeney was 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 not in it. And she's a <laughs> member. So she says, "You don't consider me." I'm like, please, I'll take care of it. So I sent it out again. Forgot another name. <laughs> so, someone's giving me bum information. <laughs> so when, that's right. Someone once, gave you bad info. Once you, once you type something up, that's terrible because it's going to be there forever. It's up in cyberspace. <laughs> All of your faults. That's okay. Yeah, hanging out. You'll but it's uh, the, the association is good. We're having good people come and. Uh, and, and, and talk to us, and uh, maybe we'll get you over there one I'd day. I'd love to. It'd be great. Why don't we do yeah. that? Yeah. Thank you so we'll much for it. coming in. Thank you for having me. Come well, anytime. Knock yeah. on the door anytime. You tell Janice when you want to be on. Come yeah, around. okay. Okay? Yeah. Listen, gang, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please don't go away. Uh, yeah, don't go away. We'll be right back. Thanks. When I look into your eyes, I can see your mother's smile. Welcome back. Thanks an awful lot, gang. We're back here with Valerie and myself. Hi. Hi, welcome back, Val. Wasn't that fascinating? That was awesome. I loved listening to both of those artists talk, and, and their work is yeah, breathtaking. It's, it's amazing. That, that wax encaustic I'm, I'm going to go home and do some research on it. Yes. It's fascinating. Yeah, I learned it. I didn't know much about it. I now, Once I learned about it, I said, oh, I've seen paintings like that. I just wasn't sure what it was called. I, I remember seeing some paintings with a sort of waxy, mm. very texturized finish like she had talked yeah. about. Um, gorgeous. Very but Diana says it's tedious. a lot of work. It's yep. very a lot of work. And um, I don't know if you can only use oil paint. I don't, I don't know. I should have asked her, but I'm sure that there's different ways and different things you can do. Get that palette knife in there. Oh, yeah, stuff. but learning about new mediums is great. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. uh, going to go home and do some research on that. So you're going out dancing now? I'm not. I'm probably going to go home and have some dinner with Klaus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, oh, that's right. You're old now. I'm old. I'm 28. <laughs> I uh, actually went out um, to a place in Alston last night with oh, some good. friends. Oh, that's fun. We had some drinks and some dinner. Oh, good. It was good. 
Good, good. So you are celebrating. I am celebrating. This is good. Definitely. Um, so we talked before the show a little bit, and I think in a couple of weeks we're going to do a feature with you. Yes, I'm we're very excited about it. We're going to get you up to, to tell us a little. We're going to do a little like we did before, what we've done in the past with some of, with some of our other, with well, what, what Julia did. You know, I yeah. think that you're going to, you're going to come up with a jazzy name. Oh and yes. You're going to do your own thing. That's going to be exciting. I'm very, uh, I'm happy for you to do that. I got some great emails on last week's show. Awesome. Uh, people were, were very, they thought it was great. Your interview with, with Chris was very informative and oh, very that's natural. So great to hear. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I know you were a little nervous, you said, but you, you didn't know it on, you didn't know it by watching it. What did you think watching it? I definitely felt nervous while it was happening, um, but Chris was so great mm. to work with. He's such a He's nice a great guy. guy. Yeah. His, his photography is beautiful. Mm. It, it's, after I watched it on YouTube the next day, I felt a little bit more confident good, about it. Good, good, so. because it, cause it, does, it doesn't come across always that there's, you know, oh, something yeah. going wrong, but it's not. You know, it's, it's, it can be more internal sometimes. It most certainly is, but yeah. I want to thank you for doing things. Have you thought of a name yet or anything, or is it still I've something been you're brewing? I thinking about, I was playing around with Val's Weekly Dish, or... That's maybe, not bad. But I'm, I'm not sure. I want to come up with something catchy and something that VWD. I can... VWD. Yeah. I like Couldn't that. I like that <laughs> abbreviation. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just came off the top right. of my VWD. head. VWD. Okay. Well, I hope you have a great week. Thank you. And we will dig you next week, right? Absolutely. If we don't talk between then and then. You're going to be neighbors pretty soon. I we'll know. be seeing yeah. each other By long. the end of the week, we're going to be a Rossi local. Yes, you will. Yep. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here with us. My name is Glenn Williams. This, of course, is Valerie Eliason, and we are... Uh, we're glad to be here. Listen, don't forget this show is going to be on YouTube uh, this time tomorrow night. You can look at it and check us out. Check out all the uh, past shows. Get out there and do something artful for yourself, gang, will you? And like I like to say every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds. Uh, I can't wait till I don't have to say this, uh, but I feel impelled. Um, please uh, keep in the forefront of your minds. Our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please do something artful. Do it for them. Absolutely. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Claude. Hey, we'll see you next week, okay? Bye-bye.